Welcome to the Know, I'm Mika. And I'm Gus. Nintendo has gotten a lot of heat about its voice chat functionality, or lack thereof. If you want to talk to your teammates online in Splatoon 2, you have to do it through a separate app on your smartphone with a lot of wires and bullshit, which has led to a lot of people goofing on Nintendo for once again not being good at the internet. They'll get there eventually. I believe in them! But Switch users made an interesting discovery recently. The console already has built-in voice chat capability, <laughs> but it's got issues too, leading many to wonder again why Nintendo and voice chat are like oil and water. Last month, Nintendo released its Switch Online app and people, you know, they didn't really like it. Putting it mildly. <laughs> Tons of annoyed gamers complain that it's an overly complicated phone draining mess. What's so bad about the app? Well, for starters, if you want to play with your friends online and talk to them, you're basically forced to use it. Uh, sure, there's services like Discord, but to build your team, you have to use the app. And the app's extremely limited in how its voice chat works. For one, voice chat can only be used when playing a game, which makes it very different from the party chat functionality in other consoles. But maybe the biggest drawback with the new app is that if you do anything else on your phone, like take a call or text someone or go on Twitter, or check your notifications, it disconnects your voice chat, which means that there's no multitasking at all. And oh, if your phone goes into standby mode or you accidentally turn the screen off, yeah, bye. Disconnects it. Okay. Uh, recently, though, some NeoGAF <laughs> users made an interesting discovery that Splatoon has built in voice chat for LAN play. If players are all connected to the same router, you can just go to the local multiplayer lobby, aka the Shoal, then press and hold the L and R buttons along with the left thumbstick, enabling the super secret voice chat. How do they figure this out? I mean, what, what? are you doing? Just like <laughs> pushing <laughs> buttons randomly? Right? Like, that's just. Good on you, whoever discovered that. Yeah. And then all you have to do is plug in the headphones with a microphone and any other players connected to the same Wi-Fi network can hear you. So there was no need for the Switch mobile app, so why did you keep this a secret, Nintendo? As the original NeoGAF poster, Peter Cobra, noted, this means they implemented seamless voice chat, no app required, but allowed using it only for LAN play, which frankly is probably the least useful scenario for voice chat since you're probably all in the same room anyway. <sighs> Emphasis is mine, not his. This is just so frustrating. It apparently works in both docked and undocked mode. And another NeoGAF user, Eronin, discovered that the feature allows players to hear each other in the lobby, regardless of their team affiliation. But the functionality varies between modes. Players can always communicate with each other during Salmon Run, but during player versus player modes, player can only hear their own teammates in game. Oh, and there's another drawback. The built-in voice chat kinda sucks. <sighs> As IGN noted, there's a lot of static interference, and they tried it in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's LAN mode, but weren't able to get it to work. At the end of the day, sadly, it seems like the app is still the best solution for online voice chat, which is still pretty crappy because voice chat is an issue that has been solved long before the Switch came out. Literally just including Bluetooth in the system would have solved all of these issues and this story wouldn't exist. Uh, and as people have pointed out on Reddit, the Switch seems more than capable of handling voice chat. After all, the DS had voice chat. The DS. As Redditor King Barbarossa said of the Switch, was there ever a question that it was capable of voice chat? It's a computer made after 1997, that's a given. So why did Nintendo build in some form of secret voice chat and not tell any of us? No one knows, and Nintendo isn't saying jack shit, so. How uncharacteristically of Nintendo of them. <laughs> uh, voice chat has emerged as the one black eye for the Switch, which otherwise has had a super successful rollout. Earlier this year, IGN asked Nintendo of America president Reggie fils -Aimé why voice chat for the Switch would be tied to an app. fils -Aimé said, we want to reinforce the capability to take your experience with you on the go. The ability to do matchmaking voice chat through your phone, it's a hell of a lot more convenient than having a gamer headset stuck on your backpack trying to do that. That's why we're doing it the way we are. We see the convenience, we see the ease of delivery, we think it's going to lead to a better experience. What the fuck does that mean? Hmm. Why is it more convenient to use this other system than to use the thing you have to carry to play the game anyway? What, what planet is he from? I have no clue. And, and the app hasn't been well received and it sounds like this new secret LAN chat isn't going to be the solution either. We'll just have to see how Nintendo addresses this going forward because as of right now, neither of the solutions look all that great because you can't say, oh, it's more convenient when the app sucks. No, no, no. Didn't you listen to Reggie? It's oh, right. Convenient. Sorry. It's so much more convenient. What do you guys think of Nintendo Super Secret <sighs> LAN chat? Better than nothing? Let us know in the comments. And for all of your Nintendo being Nintendo news, be sure to like this video. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the now. If you want to talk to your teammates online in Splatoon 2, you have to do it through a separate app on your smartphone with a lot of wires and nonsense. So it's led to... Where did it go? Oh, wow. I just completely... Anyway. For one, voice chat can only be connects your voice chat, which means that there's no multitasking. Please do it. Multitasking.